Earlier I said that the essence of any marriage relationship is love. But when we understand what love really is, we recognize that the essence of any marriage relationship is our spiritual relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because without him, there is no real love. May you never take each other's love for granted and always experience the wonder and awe that out of everyone in the world, you chose each other. May you ever serve God happily, faithfully, and together all your days, and may his joy fill you both to overflow. Chels, today I offer you my life and my love. I offer you my body. People talk about love as if it is something that happens naturally, as if there's a disconnect between the head and the heart. I don't believe this is always the case. Love is just as much a choice as anything else. It is going to sleep and waking up every day and saying, I choose you more than I choose myself. It is consciously deciding to accept you for everything you were, everything you are, and everything you'll be. Today and every day, I choose you. Isaac, today I offer you my life and my love. I promise to faithfully follow Christ and to trust him with our marriage and our family. I promise to never forget the overwhelming faithfulness of our sweet Father that has led us here today. I promise to begin each day with faith, hope, and joy, never losing sight of the source of my strength. I promise that I'll never lose my fearless and joyful spirit and to always be your adventure partner. I promise to take delight in honoring, respecting, and serving you for the rest of our days. Chelsea and Isaac are the result of years and years of faith. Faith on Chelsea's end uh, that God would bring her the right man at the right time and in the right way. Faith on Isaac's end uh, that God is good and that sometimes, sometimes things turn out completely different than we expected um, because his plans are so much better than our own. Um, they both had faith and that's what has brought us together to this day. Um, and that's what inspires me to continue uh, walking with the Lord and trusting in God. Um, not because that like God promises if we follow him, everything will be perfect and fine, but because we know that we follow a good and faithful God, and when we do, everything will turn out for our good. Um, so yeah, your faith is what inspires me. I just want to thank you for friends, our family. I want to thank you for Chelsea, Laura. I thank you for the life she has led, um, the challenges that she's faced, Lord. Uh, today I pray for calm hearts. Um, I pray for souls to be transformed by your word, Lord. I pray that you speak through John and Jeff. I pray that you speak through our words. Uh, just witness to our family, our friends. I pray that your light be shining um, and that you cover us with grace, Lord. I pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I think we all know that Isaac doesn't settle for just good enough or average for anything in life. He goes above and beyond. And I think we can all say that this is true because of who he chose as a spouse. This marks a new day in your lives that are now united. From now on, you travel not alone, but together, each for the other and both for the Lord. Let love be forever abiding in your united hearts. And may he give to you the spirit of peace and enable you to establish a Christian home where the voice of prayer and praise will be lifted up to him who saved you. May all the gifts and the fruits of the spirit be given to you both, that you may be used of him. And may heaven's richest blessing Crown your marriage with increasing joy and true affection for a wonderful life together. Where you go, I will go. Where you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. 
and where you are buried, I'll be buried. These vows I make to you in the presence of our friends, our family, and our Creator. I promise to lead you, to support and encourage you along the way. I promise to follow your lead where you thrive. I promise to listen with compassion and understanding. I promise to speak highly of you. I promise to honor and respect you when we are together and when we are not. I promise to share in your passions and your desires and to seek to find your joy in my joy. I promise to be vulnerable with you, to let you in even, if, even when I don't want to, even when I want to push you away. I promise to reconcile with you with a tender heart when we disagree. I promise to put your needs before my own and to better understand the unique way that he has made you as we continue to grow together. I promise to humbly love and forgive you as Christ does. I promise to find my strength in him and not in you. I promise to strive to pursue you constantly and to be selflessly devoted to you. I promise to be your biggest fan, always seeing the best in you and to offer you the best of me. I promise to pursue to love you as Jesus does. I promise to pray unceasingly for you, for us, and for our families. I promise to run towards you and not away from you in times of hardship. I promise to seek him in times of want and rejoice in him in times of plenty. I promise to be the godly man and husband that I'm called to be. I promise to keep fighting for you, our family, and for us until my last breath. I'm yours, Chels. These are my solemn vows. I promise to remember this moment and to always offer you grace and patience as we look to him as our help to up in upholding these vows. Today I vow these things to you and to our Lord. I'm yours, Isaac. These are my solemn vows. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Isaac, <laughs> <laughs> you may now kiss your bride. that God shows his love for us is through the people he puts in our lives. Um, he knows the desires of our hearts and he wants to give them to us when we delight in him. Isaac, I've been praying for you for almost five years and it's just really cool to see the way that God's intertwined your lives together. Um, <laughs> I'm just so thankful for the way that you love and serve and protect her and I really couldn't have asked for a better man for her. wonderful when a daughter looks up to her mother, but in recent years, it's me that truly looks up to you, and I thank you so much for all the blessings you give me continually. You have so much love in your heart and blessed so many along the way and continue to do so on a daily basis. Your faith in God is forever inspiring. It's written in 1 Peter 1.22. Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart. Today is your wedding day, the most special day of your long life, life at 25. Today you walk down the aisle radiating beauty to meet the man you have chosen, the love of your life. Today, this man I have prayed for has taken you as your wife, for better or for worse. The specified God, specific God ordained pairing of two young people claiming Jesus Christ is their Savior, joining together to live for Christ. They <laughs> live for Christ the rest of their days. I don't know about you, but it overwhelms me in a great way. Can't say no more about that. This life altering day has been prayed for and given to you by God. The man who would take on the role ahead of your family with certainty and little fear. Someone who desires to uplift and encourage you, you as Christ loved the church. And Isaac, I, I thank you for the unbelievable faith 
as well as for treating my daughter with dignity and honor and giving her such profound love. I'm so proud to have you as a part of a family. You are welcome with an open heart that, from all of our family. God bless you both, and may he watch over you as husband and wife. Love you both so very much.